This is a quick review on the Prezi Viewer app. Let's start with how to install it. Just make sure you go to the App Store and search for actually Prezi. This is the app that we want. You see a cloud in mine because I already had it and I uninstalled it so I could make this video for you. So tap on get and then click on open. Now the first screen that you see is to log in, usually with email. Um, in our case is teachmepretzi.com. This is the email address that you use to register when you got your Pretzi account and the password. So once logged in, you are first presented with the Prezi Next or Prezi Classic. Of course, we are working in Prezi Next, Prezi Classic. It's way back in the past, an old dinosaur that we love with affection, but it's not working for us anymore. So we go to Prezi Next and we have a few main dashboard options. This is uh, your profile and actually your license information. You can also search on your folders, the folders that you created with the app or at Prezi.com. And you can also search if you have a lot of presentations, uh, just search for sales and we will find all our sales presentation. As you can see here, you see here it says Prezi.com. Uh, those presentations on Prezi.com are presentations that are in the cloud. When you open a presentation and you click here, on keep offline the presentation will be downloaded to the app a copy a full copy it's synchronized with the cloud but this all the information is in the phone so if you need to present in a place where there is no internet connection then you can use this option while connected to the internet make sure that you tap on keep offline and then when you go back to all your presentations you have two sections one it's available offline and one section is on Prezi.com where you have all the other presentations. Make sure that you keep them offline while connected to the internet. Now we have of course the option to present with this big blue button here and some extra options like setting the privacy or adding to a folder or even renaming the presentation. With the share link, we are able to create a view link. This is prospect. Joe, watch the lesson on uh, Prezi Analytics to understand what this means to track this link with Prezi Analytics and to require the viewer name and email. And this is the link that you share with anyone to present. So they can watch the presentation by themselves. You won't be presenting. To present yourself remotely, you need to use live Prezi. What else we have here? With the remote option, you can connect your phone to another computer and use your phone as a clicker. You will actually be able to pinch in, pinch out, tap, move the presentation back and forward very easily because you will be controlling it with your phone and you will actually be presenting on the big screen. It's like a super smart clicker. These options here below on share with my team, that means that Everybody, if I have a team license, check on your license level to understand if this applies for you. And if this is something that you need, you can get in touch with us and we will help you get a team licenses. Uh, but all your team members will be able to edit, comment or present. Please make sure you go and watch the Prezi course on the different permission levels when collaborating on a Prezi. And then you can add specific collaborators. Instead of adding your whole team, you can add specific people. Uh, let's add Gregorio here and decide if he can edit, can comment, or can present. Refer back to the lesson on collaboration to understand the different permission levels. And if your presentation is public, meaning that everybody can see it, the comments will appear here below. Now, a word on presenting with the Prezi app on your phone. Now, I have my phone in a portrait orientation. I have it in my hand. If I turn it in a horizontal way, the presentation starts in presenting mode. 
I don't need to do anything special. I just can turn it again and the presentation goes into dashboard mode. When I go in presenting mode, I can tap on the sides to move the presentation forward and backward. But I can also pinch out to zoom in, pinch in to zoom out. I can also tap, for example, here on services, I will tap to go into that section and yet again, tap again. And now I'm pinching in so I can zoom out out to the overview. Okay, this is all for today. Uh, this is a full review on the Prezi Viewer app for iPhone, though the Android version is very similar and works in pretty much the same way.